Up until now, we've been mostly talking about general-purpose machines, those that can be used in almost any household. Today we will speak about a specialized machine, the milling machine. First, let's assemble it, using the specification that comes with the description. Then we'll talk about its spheres of application and about its operation. The parts we will need are on the table. Now we can start assembling. The machine is finished, we can turn it on and start working. However, as I have promised, we'll talk about the difference between a drilling and a milling machine. As we can see, a milling machine is in fact a drilling machine. Nevertheless, it has two hand wheels. Using these we can move the wires. This allows us to work depth-wise, width-wise and length-wise. This is basically the only difference. And now let's turn it on and try to make something. We wise the blank and place it under the milling cutter. With the help of the vertical hook, we adjust the depth of milling and we turn on the machine. Using the hand wheels we can move the blank. We can see that the machine is cutting out a groove. The depth can be adjusted to make a through hole. In this case we will get a through groove. Now we have reached a sufficient depth width-wise. We move the blank along the axis. Now we are making a longitudinal groove. This machine is quite specialized. However, we can see that it is still a necessary tool for all amateurs of construction and modeling.